another StrangerObjects.com tutorial. My name is David Rayton and today I want to show you a really awesome tool that I found like some weeks ago on Twitter and it's called VirtuCam. Uh, what VirtuCam is, it enables you to use your phone to rotate the camera in your Blender file and uh, well, well, without further ado, let's just get right at it. So within Blender, as you can see, I've already prepared a file. You install the add-on like any add-ons as well. And by pressing the N key on your keyboard, what you would need to do, what you would need to do is come here and uh, open the side panel. And within the side panel, there is virtual camera. And as you can see, it acts like a, some kind of server thingy or whatever. So all you need to do is open uh, the app by start serving and on your smartphone you need to open the application. You can see it in the screen down there. Um, VirtuCam. And VirtuCam itself lets you scan the QR code that you see here on the screen. So let me just scan this right quick. Alright, so um, I have. you need a camera. It needs to be there. Um, the easiest way is to uh, select the camera as well and in your screen you can click the camera it, it, it exactly has the same name as over here you don't have to make anything they will exchange to each other so now that we have uh, the application open and the uh, connection between blender with the add-on and the application which by the way is 4.99 on the ios um, app store uh, which i think is absolutely inexpensive for such a beautiful app Anyhow, um, in the top right of the application itself, there is this connection button. And in the middle, you can see that I, if you click that I, you can see your Blender scene file. Um, right now, um, all we can do is like um, change to focal length. You can do this by changing that slider. One tip that I found out because I was playing for it like 10 minutes and it didn't work for me really well is you need to change the uh, the unit up here and I changed mine to 10 units per meter for blender it worked better for me um, that means the higher that unit is the less you need to move around the smaller it is the more scale you have so actually sitting on a desk like me here um, 10 meters is absolutely fantastic so I just keep it as is um, yes, um, you can change the, uh, the focal length, you have uh, control, you cannot see it right now because I don't have it on in my blender, but this is the timeline control. Um, we have the opportunity to make the motion smooth like, like a steady rig, which is really cool. We're going to show you this and of course to push it position scale and position scale means um, the less position scale you have, just the less the, uh, the virtual camera will remove when you move in space. Um, the higher that value is, like 2, the more the camera in virtual space will move. But we're going to come to this in a second. Um, the next thing you need to do is uh, you, you need to click the upper right link. It's the link on the screen. Let me just click this. And then you just move um, the camera and then you get this little sign saying you are connected. And basically that's it. Now you have... Uh, in Blender and in your phone, which actually is an iPhone, your your uh, virtual camera. And you can see because we don't have any smoothness enabled, and I guess I had too much coffee today, everything is a little shaky, right? <laughs> Anyhow, let me just increase the smoothness and you can see how that will turn out and you have like that steady cam feeling. And it goes up to 60 FPS if you have um, a powerful computer, but I'm on a uh, on a MacBook Pro, as most of you know, and therefore it is not the fastest experience for me. You can tilt the camera, um, you can make changes to it. Let me just turn down the position scale. Then you can see we have less motion, but it still moves where it should move. And let me just turn this up, and you can see that now I'm hovering over my my cube over here, and I can. Let me just tilt the camera. Oh, let me come down. Here we go. And you can see if I tilt, if I tilt the phone even more, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see this. We're, we're getting under. No, we can't see it. Anyhow, <laughs> but we're pretty close to the object right there. Um, the good thing is that you can record the camera motion and the 
um, the red button on the on, on the bottom right. You can just hit it, and you get a little countdown of three, two, one, and now we're recording our 250 frames, and that's it. Uh, I will disconnect the camera very quick. Nope, nope. Let me just disconnect this and turn off the application. And let me show you in Blender what happened here. I'll just pull this up and get a timeline for you guys. Here we go. Now we have the timeline open. And what it basically did, it recorded keyframes for the entire camera. Let me, let me move this out. We can stop serving and press play. And as you can see, the camera motion is recorded by Virtual Cam. And I think this is an insane cool way to record camera once again um the app in the app store is 4.99 the add-on for blender and i think it's for maya is for free it's even open source so you can well write your own code but i'm not a coder so not for me my conclusion is 4.99 totally inexpensive works brilliantly even on slower machines like mine I suggest you just hop over and try it out yourself. I already sent some um, um, pre-recorded stuff on Twitter, and this is the tutorial for Virtual Cam in a Blender 2.92. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on the channel, and I see you in the next one.